So today I'm going to be talking about a movie that has a lot of content creators that always have something positive to say. The reason why they always have something positive to say is so they can get free stuff from the studios. Even then, when searching for something positive to say, they come up with this. We ain't found shit! Even when people were saying they were really looking forward to this movie, I was kind of like... Uh, it's about a pool. How good could it actually be? Well, I can't judge anything or review it until I watch it, so here's my review for Night Swim. We follow a family on their way to a search for a new home to accommodate their father, who is now a retired baseball player, who is also suffering with an illness. So not only do they find a home in their price range, it actually has a pool, which is great for physical therapy. Things start happening to the family as they use the pool, and it's more in the positive sense. The father's health starts improving, even his motor skills start getting better, <laughs> and it was starting to remind me of that old Ron Howard movie, The Cocoon. So just being honest here, when I first saw the trailer, I was like, this isn't a movie, this is just a short film. So sure enough, before becoming a full-length feature film, it was a short film, so I went to check it out on YouTube, and honestly, as a short little snippet, it's not bad at all, but it doesn't justify an hour and 40 minute movie. But as far as ideas outside of that short film, it felt like our creative team was like this. The survey said. This movie is really heavily padded with a lot of Nothing! Absolutely nothing! But seriously, a pool can be used to be something scary. As a little kid, and even now, I was always scared that there was going to be a shark inside the pool to get me. There are a lot of 80s and 90s tropes that might be a little too obvious to use. But hey, why not use them? And it would actually benefit this movie, especially when it comes to practical effects. I was actually thinking maybe we'll get to see someone get pulled into the drain. Or those creepy pool cleaner machines. As a little kid, I used to think they were going to come to life and get me. I thought they were actually going to implement that in this film. But this movie was like... Nope. That would be a waste of time. <laughs> so this is just me, but I think the movie would have worked better if the pool was used as a portal between worlds and entities could exit the pool and roam freely around the property to haunt. Just so as an audience, we get to see some ghosts. And I do respect the overall concept for this movie, but they just don't do anything with it. After 30 minutes of watching this movie, I already knew where this film was kind of going, and I thought the more appropriate title for this film would have been called Amityville Pool. Like I've been saying, everything feels very copied and pasted and generic, and everything has to lead back to... The swimming pool! The swimming pool! That Marco Polo scene that we've seen in the trailer goes on way, way too long. And honestly, I was like, girl, just open your eyes and jump out of the pool. Because, yeah, it's not like that pool cleaning machine is going to come to life and get you. This movie also does a trope that I really, really hate. In the name of love. Where the one and only true weapon to fight evil is love. Whether or not you like the film Talk To Me, at least it had a good story, great characters, and not only that, great practical effects, and the film only cost $4.5 million. The movie Night Swim had none of that, and even the ghosts that we did get to see, they looked like a Snapchat filter. This movie cost $12 to $15 million. And my question is... Where is the money? Night Swim is one of the first movies out of the merger of these two studios, which is Blumhouse and Atomic Monster. And all I have to say is... Shit. This worries me because the new horror film Imaginary shares some of the same writers from Night Swim. My rating for Night Swim, F this movie, just watch the short film, that's all you're going to need to see. Yeah, seriously, this movie just had me thinking of this.